Hi, I'm Nathaniel and I am a developer evangelist at Twilio. My job is to serve developers across Europe, educating, inspiring and equipping them to build the future of customer engagement. So how did I become a developer? It's a long story, but essentially I wanted to build and software and the web gave me a sandbox to bring my ideas into reality. And the thing that I love is the joy and satisfaction of seeing the software I build being used out in the wild. And it's addictive. Seeing something you've built actually provide value to someone just brings joy inside. I really enjoy sharing my knowledge. So whether that is building a small piece of code and seeing that being used in a big application somewhere or teaching someone a new piece of technology, I really enjoy watching other people take what I know and building on top of that. And then I also love to test out the latest technologies. So being able to creatively come up with new ideas and try out new things, I really enjoy that. So people ask me this question a lot, and the answer is whichever gets the job done. I am not committed to a coding language and I use different ones depending on what is required. However, you probably do want an answer and I spent most of my time using TypeScript. Those of you who know will probably appreciate that. So the hardest part of building technology is often not writing code. Architecting, code reviews, these are all things that require heavily on collaboration with my teammates, with my fellow developers, and sometimes with people who don't write code at all. And it really kind of shows how building something like that as a team, you end up building something that is greater than the sum of its parts. And that's something that I really enjoy. I love working at Twilio because the technology still surprises me. I've been working here for a while and I'm still blown away by some of the things that we build. And being able to get my hands on it and try it out also makes me very, very privileged. But another thing that I really love about working here is the people. They inspire me to be better. Better leaders, better coders, better in so many different ways. And I really enjoy being surrounded by people that set my aspirations higher. I feel really proud working at Twilio every time I see the work that we do with Twilio.org. So for those of you who don't know, Twilio.org uh, really focuses on the people who are using our technology to build life-changing applications for good. A great example of this is using our technology to send messages to help people who are refugees find safety or using our technology to contact people who are feeling uh, left alone, maybe. I really, really enjoy hearing those stories. And I actually have seen times when some of the technology I've built, some recent technology I've built with AI is actually being used um, in charities to help save lives and make people's lives better. And every time I come across one of those stories, it makes me smile and become very proud of where I get to work and the fact I'm able to make a positive impact on the world. So technology is always moving fast and at Twilio it moves fast. Uh, maybe something that is very relevant recently is I've been working a lot with live audio. We have a product called Twilio Media Streams. And we use it a lot, especially with the magic word AI, uh, using it to be able to stream audio so that AI can interact with it. And what's been so cool is seeing code that I wrote actually being used in other companies' AI code snippets. So it's really interesting to see some of the amazing things other people have built on top of my code. I really enjoy contributing back to the developer community. So whether that's attending meetups, speaking at meetups, speaking at conferences, being online in the developer community, I really enjoy being around other developers. And that's because developers just love sharing knowledge and I enjoy being able to learn as well as share. But when I'm not coding, I also really enjoy board games. And if you catch me on the right night, you might see me belting my voice out with karaoke. So probably 
any time five years ago, I would have answered AI to this question, but I guess AI is a current trend, so uh, it doesn't count as a future trend. It's really funny because trends rise and fall, some of them, and some of them become a core part of the technology. So I really think that trend could fall into one of those two. A trend could be a change to a form factor, like when mobile came and just changed the way we interacted with the web. And then sometimes trends are in the background and allow us to deliver more. I kind of expect the next trend to be the way the form factor of user experience changes. So there will be something different in the way we interact with our devices. And I won't be surprised if it's powered by AI. So that's my hunch. Come check with me in five years. The biggest lesson that I've learned in my career is that it's always great if you can acknowledge where you have room to grow, acknowledge how you can improve and being able to flesh out that career as well. And then making connections. I think people are such a huge part of life, a huge part of technology, a huge part of who you are. And making great connections and keeping those is so essential. And most importantly, never stop asking questions. I love it when I ask a question which may seem silly and then other people in the room also say that they had the same question in their mind. It's always ask. For any developers watching, get involved in your developer community. There are so many different developer communities online, in person. You find the community that communicates in the way that you enjoy and become a part, contribute to that community, and I'm sure you're going to come away with a lot. And also, stay curious. Keep asking questions wherever you can and playing around with new technology. Thank you for watching. If you're inspired by my story, explore our developer hub or visit our blog to learn about how you can start building with Twilio. We can't wait to see what you build.